Oh, here's the game. Lindio Web. And D3. What the heck is that? Is it a mouse slip or is this a, a plan? Yeah, it's a plan. Well, I guess I should put two pawns in the center. That's the principled thing to do. You can deliver a check. Queen uh, A. Queen A4 check. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, so the fianchetto here. So I'll just set up a solid structure in the center. Not, not go for too much. And um, let's see, I should bring my light squared bishop out before playing knight to d7, I think. He could play knight to um, f3 right now to attack my e-pawn and maybe uh, question my plan, but uh, eh, he's not doing any of that. He's intent on playing his own uh, peculiar system. So let's get my pieces to reasonable squares. Yeah, I'm both going to castle kingside, what do you know? <clears throat> Yeah, so he's advancing on the queen side. I can play e4 right here. And I think I will. It kind of clarifies the structure a little bit. He can either take or he can push. If he does neither, I will take. He pushes. So he's got a dark squared pawn structure. He has a bad bishop and a good bishop. So my strategy is to uh, trade off the good bishop, right? So I need to get the knight out of the way. I play queen to d7. And uh, he's going to try and play, do something with his good bishop, I guess. Yeah, let's, I mean, with his uh, bad bishop, he can maybe push this pawn forward. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy while I can. Now, where is that knight going? Um, it can go back. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't particularly like that knight on that square. So, let's ask him where he wants to go. He wants to go there. Okay. Let's. Um, If I uh, take it, just brings the uh, queen forward. Um, uh, so if I play um, h6 first like that, then I can take, and when the queen comes forward, I can play king to um, king to g7 to defend the um, a pawn, and and all my pieces are hanging together here. Yeah, so he is coming in with the queen. And that's what I want, I think. I mean, the other option is to defend with the bishop. Leave the king there. Yeah, actually, it gets the bishop out of the way of the um, of the f pawn, which might want to come forward. And yeah, he's got a good square for the knight on uh, c five. So let's take that away. And he wants to trade rooks on the only open file. I guess that's okay, too. Yeah, so he wants to go after that uh, pawn structure. So let's um, defend it.
I have uh, you know a lot of pieces over here on the king side, but they're not um, particularly well positioned. It's not easy for me to chase his queen away, for example. But if he just lets me trade it off, that's sufficient. So now, where does this knight want to go? Here to here, probably. Let's start by taking this rook, though. I might need this rook to defend the uh, pawn. And, uh, yeah, I think I do. And uh, so we've got an end game here. And let's activate activate my pieces and see if I can prove that uh, his his pieces are bad. So he's going to take here. I could take first. No, I'm going to let him take. Okay, I haven't got my knight to a good square. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to not let him chase it away. I'm going to bring my king forward. Oh, that was a pawn sack. He can't take back. Interesting. And it's on a light square, so it's hard for him to uh, get get uh, control of that. Is there a good way to exploit this knight here? Check. He just takes the pawn. So I, I need to defend the pawn and then play knight knight check. Yeah, let's bring my king into the game. So Lindy, Lindia Webb, he went very quickly into this endgame. Maybe he likes endgames. But I think this endgame is good for uh, good for black. Yeah, he has to give up another pawn here. Well, he's... Um, eh, that's tricky. He's, he's actually attacking the uh, knight. So I have to... Um, because of the pin on the pawn, if I had taken with the pawn, which I wanted to do, um, then I would have had to, um, he would have taken my knight. My knight was not defended there because the pawn was pinned. Okay, so now various checks are possible. There's this loose pawn here. Let's um, bring the knight back now that the king is in place. I can take, <clears throat> and you know I think his rook is not not doing anything there. Okay, so he repositions the rook. I was thinking it might be good to go after. Now that I'm relieved of the duty of defending this pawn, it might be good to go after the um, his d pawn. Yeah, so he's coming in here for the check. Okay, let's start by defending against that. Then uh, maybe bishop to f8, hitting hitting. Uh, bishop to f8 hits this pawn, and I don't think uh, he can easily defend it. So he moves it forward, and now my bishop can activate over here. And uh, you know I still don't see his uh, his knight is not doing anything. I don't have to take his rook. And. Um, Let's bring my king forward. Yeah, I'll walk my king over, and then I will take his rook and then grab that pawn. Ah, so he moved his knight. So that lets me reposition the bishop here. And uh, so this check wins the knight, right? Check. Where's the king go? Up or down? It goes down. Oh, it's pinned. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay, so let's move the king somewhere where the knight can't check me. Hmm, hard to do. Okay, what happens if I take the rook now? Rook takes, pawn takes, then king here, knight check, knight check. There's no checks. And um, I think this is a good a good end game for me. My king is inside the square of the pawn now that my king is close enough. He 
it's a bishop versus knight and an extra pawn as long as he's not queening with this pawn it should be a good end game for me yeah he can chase my bishop around a bit let's pull back to a safe location let's gobble this pawn and let's kick the knight Let's take the pawn, and he takes my pawn. But that was, you know, his most dangerous piece, so um, that is all okay. So let's push forward here. He can attack the pawn from this square, and I can defend with the bishop. And I'm going to attack his knight anyway. His knight is kind of running out of moves. I might be able to uh, get into a position where it has uh, no moves at all. Here and here. <clears throat> so I can step forward with the king. I has that check. He has that check. So I guess I go here with the bishop first. Okay, now how do I get my king into this? Let's see, king here. Yeah, actually getting the king in is a problem. usually have to uh, win this with some kind of Zugzwang. Um, my, my king can't break through here and here because these pawns control those squares and his king prevents me from going through here or there. So I need to set up some kind of position where I'm breaking through and I just don't see it. So maybe it's just a draw. That would be sad after the way that he played. But I did get the opposition here, so I will try and milk this for what it's worth. But I think he can just go back and forth. Yeah, I can't go forward. Well, it's a shame he got a draw after playing like that. <laughs> but uh, I, anyway, I will look at this in the postmortem and see what I should have done. See you guys later. Bye.